Hey Aquarius, it's Kim Enchantress here from Sydney, Australia. Here to do your musician's reading for March 2022. Hope you guys are doing well, getting plenty of work. Now, I have already pre-shuffled and prayed over your cards here, Aquarius. And we have the mes message of spirit, which is the prophecy of money flowing. So maybe, um, you know, you've been stuck of late and uh, not working due to COVID perhaps for the last couple of years. I have actually taken the moon card. As you all know, it's my musician's card, artist of all kinds. It represents your emotions, creativity, you know, fantasies, your desires in your music, your art projects, um, emotions, you know, all that sort of thing. Um, and we also have the trigger card, which is the garden. So the garden is definitely about you sharing your emotions with your music group. This card represents groups, audience, crowds. Um, it's also sharing uh, your, your group or your audience sharing emotions with you. But this could be about psychic feelings uh, being fully developed because we have two cards that have fallen out here, which is the Diviner and the Lily. The Diviner card is about psychic abilities. Um, it's about fully developed creativity as a group. You know, something that's established here with the lily. Now, you may be in emotional isolation with the tower. You want something that's high status for your group. It's just out of reach here. And maybe, um, you know, it could be with soul partners. You have the dog here, which is your... Um, supportive family and uh, friendships and being friendly towards you. Now there may be some feelings here of um, distrust in the past and maybe uh, you've had blocked feelings and this is what it's led to. These distrust feelings have led to um, blocked creativity or you know delays as such have, have happened you've also got the anchor which is now having stable emotions as the underlying issue Aquarius you're definitely coming from a good place now especially a place of heart place of your passion and these are your emotions that are very passionate towards reaching your goals now the garden does represent the planet Venus. It has Libra and Sagittarius energies connected to it. It is your 10th house of fame, mastery and achievement. Now the Libra energy is about seeking balance and harmony within your group. You've got Sagittarius, which is about change and being able to adapt between you and your bandmates. So whatever the changes is coming, you definitely um, got the fox here this is my work card but it represents the planet pluto it's known for the dwarf as a dwarf planet now pluto is the greater revealer so something's going to be revealed to you in your subconscious but often there is a dark night before there's any rebirth with this card now you've also got the lily which is the moon and saturn and the symbolism of this card for Saturn is the old father and the new father. So it's older ways that are beginning to be replaced by new ways. Even though you're established, it's time to change it up. It's all about hard work and structure here. Okay, you've also got the mountain, which is also um, the planet Saturn. And the meaning of, and symbolism um, of this card. So Sorry, it's the Capricorn energy. It's always about moving forward upward climbing and being committed to your responsibilities okay maybe you weren't so committed to them in the past and you've got the heart which is uh, the planet venus it is your seventh house of partnerships and unions so um maybe um this is the planet of charm it's definitely consideration and partnering so considering others at this time in your music group, 
It's also considered the ruler of two signs, Taurus, which is an earthy sign, and Libra, which is the air sign. And then you've got the tower, which is also um, like the mountain, the planet Saturn, it's, uh, and Neptune, rather. It is the light that guides humanity. So one of the main functions here is that it, it advances human society and consciousness. It is emotionally refined and artistic with this card. So you've gone within and done some thinking. There's been delays, but may have been for a purpose. You've got the anchor, which is also, um, you know, uh, about your career and long-term goals and feeling more stable. You've got the dog here which is um, your 11th house of goals, friends and having high hopes. You know, Venus is the planet of sensuality, romance, simplicity. It's also passion. It is a femin uh, feminine card. The planet governs the artistic domain here. And this planet will tell how artistic an individual person is. It refines your behavior, how you've been behaving towards your your people and you know with this uh, career card here being in your sixth house it defines your health it's often um, an outcome of how the rhythm of the day is managed you know your daily routine it's also the sphere of purification through your diet through spiritual practice which is something that you possibly are into and it's also um, about, you know, getting natural remedies and detoxing. It's the way you deal with physical limitations that come up with this house or the sixth house. So, um, you know, in your limitations here, you know, you've got delays. You know how far you can go, but you know how far you want to reach as well here, Aquarius. So, I do see... Um, you know, you getting psychic feelings about creativity. And now you've got that uh, stable, stable feelings coming in. You've got help from friends. You're seeking balance and harmony. You've got rebirth. And you've also got that upward climbing and um, moving forward. So that's all I have for you guys. I will um, be back next month for your next musician reading. So all the very best in your music, guys. Love and blessings. Bye for now.